Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to create first test case for API automation. We are going to hit a URI by using get method. Get method means we want to fetch some information from the application. These are the free URI. You can use either of the URI to perform this test case. I'm moving to the Eclipse and here in previous session, we have already seen how we can set up a Maven project and all the dependencies which are required are added in this pom.xml. So that is done in the previous session already. These are the dependencies which I have added. Four dependencies I have added. One is testng, other is rest assured, JSON schema validator and JSON path. So that is done in the previous session. Now I'm moving to create my first test case. So here in this folder, SRC test Java, we can write our test case. So I'm moving to this folder and I'm going to create a package over here. So I'm right click on this and my package is, I'm just giving the package name test.api. Automation. Click on finish. So one package is created. Now to create test case inside this, I'm going to create a Java file. So for that, right click on this package, new class, and whatever the name you want to give. So I'm giving test case TC underscore zero zero one get method and click on finish so a new class will be created so here we are in a new class i'm just increasing the font over here text editor and color and fonts so that we can easily view the content add it and i'm taking the font 12 so apply okay all right so now inside the class we are going to write all the code by creating a method so i'm creating a method public void tc001 get method validation you can give any name to the method i'm just giving the meaningful name and as you know we are going to execute this test case by using testng and to execute any method by using testng we need an annotation so the mandatory annotation is test so i am writing test over to this method and the annotation that we are using it's a testng annotation so we have already added the library rest assured we have a class with the name rest assured here we need to call static method of that class. The name of the method is get. I'm writing rest assured. That's a class name. And that's my class name. So rest assured dot get. To work on get request, we have a method here with the name get. And we need to pass our URI over here. So in our case, I have already shown you a few URI. I'm going to use any of the URI and that's my URI. So this is the URI by which we can find out details of any country by giving the country code. So here the country code is IN means India. I'm just giving the URI. Whenever we hit any URI, we are going to get some response. So whatever the response we are getting from the server, we are going to store in this response object. And we are calling a static method by using the class name. It is going to return the response which is saved in this response object. Now, I'm just going to display the response so i'm just writing response dot as a string 
So I'm calling a method as a string which is going to display the response which is coming from the server in the form of string. So here it's a very simple test case in which we are using the rest assured it. We are using a get method means we are making a get type of request and giving the URI over here and whatever the response we are getting we are just dis displaying in the form of string. So I am running it using testng so I am just clicking on this run button and here if you notice my request started let's wait for so if we don't get any response we are going to get some error but this time it is passed means everything ran fine if we check it over here in response we are getting this json so here we have seen how we can create our first request in which we are using a get method we are hitting a get method and in response whatever we are getting a response we are just displaying it how to validate this response we are going to cover in the coming sessions in this session we are just hitting the request and we are getting some response so here we have created our first test case in which we are just making a get request and we are getting some response that's all we have for this session Thanks for watching this video.